and feds clues to this. You're finna go and catch the blues for this. So it's the cop. Yes, I see what you mean, Coach. I must admit his behavior has been a bit strange lately. Thank you for coming here tonight to bring that to my attention. You wanted to see me, Vince? Ah, yes. Thank you for coming to see me. I wanted to take this chance to compliment you on your hard work so far this year and let you know that it has not gone unnoticed. The matches you've competed in over the last few months have helped to determine your entry number into one of the greatest matches in sports entertainment, the Royal Rumble. As you know, the Rumble takes place in two weeks. And tonight's match is your last chance to improve your entry number. And it must be your lucky day. Because Mr. McMahon, in his infinite wisdom, has come up with a typically brilliant plan to give you a choice of matches. You see, if you're fairly happy with your current number, you can compete in an Iron Man match tonight. When it's over, your opponent's number of pinfalls or submissions will be subtracted from yours. The resulting number will be added to your current entry number. So, if you score three points and your opponent scores one, your entry number improves by two. But if it's the other way around, your number falls by two. Or if you prefer to take a big risk for a big reward, you can compete tonight in a triple threat match against the number one and number 30 entrants. Win that match, and you'll get to enter the Royal Rumble last at number 30, which gives you a huge advantage. If you lose the triple threat, however, you'll enter at number one and have to face 29 other superstars in order to win. I love it. That's sheer genius, Mr. McMahon. Take it under advisement for a minute. Let me know which match you want to compete in tonight. Keep in mind that the higher your entry number, the later you enter the Royal Rumble, and the better your chances. the man who's currently scheduled to enter the Royal Rumble first. He's got a great opportunity to jump all the way to number 30 if he can win this triple threat match. He can definitely use an upset win here tonight. Otherwise, he's got to pray for a miracle at the Rumble. I wonder what he did to make Mr. McMahon angry enough to put him in a match like this. His number 30 entry spot is at stake. I have no idea, Cole, but, you know, you know as well as me, it won't be the first time he found himself in Mr. McMahon's doghouse, that's for sure. This superstar is taking a huge gamble. He's given up his entry number entirely and is guaranteed to leave here tonight as either the number one or number 30 entrant in the Royal Rumble. Hey, he might have more guts than brains. But you never can tell. Superstars have entered at number one and won the whole thing. And others have come in at number 30 and been tossed over the top ropes. Man, his opponent looked like a punk with that counter. I ain't sure that London is worth enough to be wrestling here tonight, Cole. I mean, we know the kid's nuts, but he seems especially out of it tonight. That's all part of Paul London's style, Tad. How do you prepare for a match against a superstar who will go to absolutely any lengths to win a match? Victory means absolutely everything to these competitors tonight. Thank you, Captain Obvious. You got any others like, uh, I don't know, nobody wants to lose? Or uh, how about this one? The superstar who beats their opponent will be the winner. Hmm. How about Taz should spend more time calling the match and less time? Nice quick counter. How much longer are these superstars going to be able to keep it up? Your guess is as good as mine, Taz. They're certainly not going easy on each other, that's for sure.
Raiders certainly aren't going easy on each other tonight. They sure are giving the fans their money's worth. No doubt, Cole. These WWE superstars put their bodies on the line night after night. And the fans sell out these arenas night after night, Taz. Sounds like a pretty fair trade to me. Paul London's gone out of his way to get noticed, Cole. But the best way to do that isn't with some streamers on the boots. It's by getting your arm raised by the referee at the end. I think someone's been taking flying lessons, Taz. Man, there's not a... Look at this, Cole. Look at this. Oh, my God. There's a reason that's called a finishing move. The match usually doesn't go much longer. Man, look at these superstars. You can't ask for a better example of what makes SmackDown so great. You sure can't. SmackDown's got the greatest superstars in the greatest matches for the greatest fans in all of sports entertainment. <laughs> Folks, we'll be staying with this match to the end with no commercial interruptions. Good thing too, Cole, because I don't think we'd ever hear the end of it if we cut away here. You're probably right, Taz. I know I wouldn't want to miss a second of this action. When you see this level of competition, Cole, there is... Wow, look oh, at that great. submission. I ain't never seen it executed better. Neither have I, partner, and this might be enough to get the Three. tap out right here. Four. Let me tell you, Cole, I spoke to these superstars before the match, and I ain't never seen competitive.